Right, today we're going to do kicks. Now, there are many kinds of kicks, uh, different styles, different ways of practicing them. Um, I'll show you the, a few kicks that we used to do um, when training. Um, basically, don't <laughs> attempt to start kicking around without warming up first and stretching. Yeah. Um, now, there are different exercises for warming up and different exercises for stretching. Many. Right? Um, I've been into martial arts, yoga, and I became a professional dancer too. So, so I've seen and experienced and trained in three different kinds of schoolings for uh, stretching. Uh, it's very important. Um, and, I, and I've seen very disparate ways of, uh, of doing this. Now, basically it all comes down to, we have a bone structure and around the bone structure we have muscle, right? And there's two types of, I can go into isotonic and isometric tension and what we do when we move and when we stand still and all that, but, but basically there are different types of stretching exercises and they all incur a certain amount of stress and pain. But if the pain is like a heat happening around your muscle, it is all right. But if it's like a needle being stuck in your muscle, it's not all right and you have to stop, yeah, uh, because you're hurting yourself. Now, basically, stretching can be uh, from a position of, let's say, if I stand here and, and just open, open my legs uh, and spread my legs and come down, put my hands on the floor and just hang there. Yeah, I'm just hanging and I'm using gravity and my body weight, yeah, to hang. And I can feel my muscles slightly stretching, slowly, yeah. And I could hang there all day or I could put my back against the wall and open my legs and just stay there, right? That's one, one kind. Now, if from that position I interlace my fingers, yeah, and start repetition, yeah, one, yeah, two, three, four, and so on, yeah. Now I'm using movement to, to make the muscle stretch, yeah. Now, in dance, for example, I, I also experienced how you position the muscle is very important. Yeah? So it's not only about bringing the muscle up and, and fighting against it, but also rotation of the muscle. So if I wanted to go down into this position, let's say, yeah? Now, my leg rotating out, yeah, so that my, the head, the joint, which is the ball and joint, which is the top of my femur, yeah, is rotated into a position where it can get into that posture, yeah, and then stay there so the muscle gets used to it, then positioning, using your muscle to get into the position is also brilliant because it means you won't lose it, yeah? And some people stretch by fighting the muscle and, and getting and working on the joint, yeah? But it's, in my experience, it's much healthier 
if you position your muscle, you train it to turn outwards and then into the stretch. Yeah? Now, let's, let's get on to kicks. <laughs> First kick, um, what they call instep kick, right? Now, one note about this school, we never raise our heel off the ground, yeah? So the foot is always flat against the floor because you need that base <coughs> to be able to kick, yeah? And it is often the case that the leg that is holding the position is almost more important than the one that's kicking because that is the strength, it is your trunk, yeah? And it is your foundation for the other leg to go boom, yeah? Because a lot of people can kick very high and, and do a lot, but when it gets to kicking something like a bag or someone else, they don't have the strength, right? So you need to work on your bottom leg as much or more than your top leg, yeah? Now, we, we don't get our heels off the ground, yeah? And the first kick we do, instep, yeah? Let's see if I can put myself in a position where you can see. Instep is going to be there, you ready? Hooks down, kumpo slightly high, yeah? And then up, yeah? Now, what's happening is, my leg is sweeping straight. It doesn't bend, yeah? This one is, yeah, going straight up. And without bending the leg in any position, I'm hitting my instep, yeah? Now, and I never get my heel off the ground. Second kick, similar, same position, palms out, and it's called, or we used to call it, uh, toes to your forehead, yeah? <laughs> so, your toes are going to try and reach your forehead, yeah? Same system, leg shoots up straight, never bends, and your toes push, push back and try to hit you in the head, yeah, if you can. That's kick number two. Kick number three is outward circular. Outward circular is similar as toes to the forehead, but it's a round kick, yeah? So it starts like that and it does this. Now, that's an interesting kick because it starts, if you want to break it down into two, it starts with a similar kick as Toes to your forehead, but on the diagonal. And then with your hip, first you look up for height, and then with your hip, you bring it across, right? So this. Yeah? Now, those three kicks uh, are the first three basic kicks. And in the next video, I'll show you the rest. Well, the rest. A few others. <laughs> now, it's important that you see what we were doing. Yeah? Arms out. Arms out like this. Yeah? Like that. And you're meant to keep the structure up even though your leg is going up, yeah? 
And that's for a reason. It's so that you don't do all this. You have students at the beginning doing, you put them in this position and they go, right? And they're fighting the air to get up there, right? But that, that is there for a reason. And it's to make you understand in the end that you don't need your upper body to kick, yeah? If you can kick and not move above, yeah? Then when you're in combat, you will lift your leg, kick, no problem, be very strong, and your guard will still be up. You won't be doing this, trying to get up, yeah? Uh, so it's all part of the training, so that you isolate the movements of your muscles and you get to lift your legs with the leg muscles, not with your arm muscles, right? <laughs> so, thanks very much. See you soon.